today we're joined live in studio by a gifted poet and MC and a creatively unique content creator and as the masses would agree, Portland ambassador, yeah, Corey right Rhymes. In English I have some words, but in a patwa, they really change. We can't bother with the pronunciation, so what we do? We just rearrange. For example, the word certificate. And film is another word. We say film and selfie ticket. And any other word is just absurd. Hello, Corey. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Hi, how are you doing? I'm great. How awesome. are you? I'm doing fine. I'm wonderful. Lovely, lovely. Uh, my government name is Corey Darby. Uh, yes, so I go by the name Corey Rhymes, though. You know, it's it more fitting to what I do now, but I grew up in Portland, like she said, beautiful parish. If anybody has ever been to Portland, you know it's the best parish in, yeah. in the whole of Jamaica. Here he goes. <laughs> yeah, we have to show up in Portland, man. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Um, I grew up with my mom and grandmother. I'm the only boy, so I'm a wash belly. I'm the only boy for my mother. She has two um, daughters. And, you know, I just grew up around up and down the country from sea to tree top. I enjoy life. I went to the Titchfield High School and then I went on to the University of Technology where I studied. Um, I got a bachelor's degree in computer science. Oh. And from then, you know, I entered the working world. But uh, where, where can I go now? Ever since Sixth Farm, actually, I wrote my first poem called Daddy Where Day. It was for a school project. And I said it to my aunt and she was like, Corey, that bad. Mm -hmm. I never know yet. You know, so ever since that, she's been encouraging me, Corey, I need to do something with this. Get in contact with some people, man. Favel, and all sorts of names she had yeah. she 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 called. And I'm like, all right. But I didn't know what to do. And so I just left it. I didn't do anything with the talent until... In 2022. 2022. Yeah, we're yeah. going to jump into that. But don't <laughs> give them too much right now. All right, fine. All right, great. So I'd like to know, though, where did this passion for creative writing and poetic expressions derive from? Well... I have to give some shout out to my father. I don't know if anybody here knows my father, Mr. Darby, Richard Darby. He's a, he's a teacher, but he, do, he does a lot of cultural dances as well. Oh. He, um, the Manchin Cultural Group, he teaches that. It's a big group, well known. And all of his kids are talented, every single one. <laughs> so who can sing, can dance, who can paint, all of us are talented. So I guess I discovered my talent very late. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's, I have to give my shout out for that. So I think it's a bit hereditary. hereditary. Yeah. And I, I just find it within and I just, to me it's kind of simple. I didn't know it was amazing like some people would say. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> what, what age do you say you discovered the talent, this talent? Of? Probably about, about 14, 15. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, who are some of the persons you'd say influenced your choice to go this route, apart from your aunt? <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually, funny enough, when I started, it wasn't necessarily, hey, I want to become a poet or a content creator. I was just, you know, make a one video, put it out there with one of my poems, just just mm -hmm. as fun. And it actually, I saw the, the, the feedback, and it was actually good, so I continued. Um, when it comes on to writing poems, though, one of the most inspirational person has to be Miss Louise Bennett, of course. Yeah, you, you know, like, you're like your grandson. she's she's <laughs> she's amazing. A lot of people call me Miss uh, Miss Lou grandson, and I'm honored. <laughs> I have to say that that's a big, um, that's huge for me. What makes Corey stands out from the rest? Well, ah, uh, first of all, I'm 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 creating content, but I'm doing it with poems that alone is different you know that that not i don't know how many persons doing it now but when i started i didn't know of anybody doing that and it was just my way of bringing my talent and my creativity into the social media space and it has been working uh also i can i can say i try to be a, a, as as relatable as possible yeah. and people appreciate that and you know so, so stuff like and my character as well I have to give that, because I'm a bit charismatic at times. <laughs> yeah, and your ability to mix the Jamaican dialect yes. and twang and just jump from one smoothly, it's really yeah, impressive yeah, as yeah. well. Funny enough, you know, I can write poems in English, but I prefer the part. It just, it just, it just feels better. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of impact would you say your talent has been having on the public 
and what does their love and feedback mean to you? <laughs> it means, it absolutely means a lot because now, these days, I mean, every single time I'm in the street, someone says, Corey, I love your content. And that, that just touched me differently because to know that I'm, I'm putting this work and people out there actually appreciate it like that and they look forward to it, that's as heartwarming. Mm -hmm. Yes, I really actually really do appreciate that. And so anytime you see me and, give, and show me love, just know say, we really appreciate it. And how about the impact? What sort of impact do you say it's having? Uh, I, uh, I, I can't necessarily say, mm -hmm. but I've seen where First, I've said um, I'm carrying on the culture, yeah. uh, so I think that's a big responsibility, <laughs> you know. So I'm doing the best I can. So impact-wise, I can I can definitely say that, and it's going places that I'm amazed to see how far it's reaching. So, would you encourage the teaching of the Jamaican dialect in school? One hundred <laughs> percent, definitely, because you see if you see if Jamaicans understand how how marketable we are, because people out there want to know about this. So if we can use that, mm -hmm. teach it in school and do something with it, apart from just us talking it here, mm -hmm. um, it can get bigger if, and it, it will impact a lot of more things because more people know about language, more people understand things like the music and yeah. the movie and all of that. So teaching it in school would be a big step. Okay. A big, big step. And how about the overall creative arts aspects of learning? Do you think enough attention is being given to that field within the school system and by extension to the outside creative spaces such as theater arts and even poets like yourself? Um, so for, I definitely cannot speak directly on that, but from what I've heard um, and seen in school as well, not so much because we have a lot of talented and creative people here and if I believe that if the investment, if, the, if whoever invests in these things, um, we can have a lot more in, in, in our, for example, theater mm -hmm. and persons who are artists and so on. We can have a lot more success and a lot more major projects coming out of it. So I believe there is room for a lot of improvement. All right, so previously I referred to you as a Portland ambassador, and I'm sure your fans believe that you are too. Yes. Because you're being like, Portland are the best thing since sliced I'm bread. I'm not telling the honest truth. <laughs> Jamaica are the best thing since sliced bread. All right. <laughs> All right, Jamaica overall. Um, um, I'm just marketing Portland because that's yes. where I'm from. Just like oh, anybody else from any other parish would have um, great things to say about their parish, I'm just marketing my parish because I know the beauty yeah. and, the, and the tranquility that it offers. And I think this is a good space to address this. I see somebody said that Portland is overrated. Let me tell you this. I don't think that we can be overrated if what we are rated for is what we give. Because we give the beauty, we give the tranquility, we give mm -hmm. that peace and safety. <laughs> yeah, that's how it can be overrated. <laughs> By doing this, to what extent do you believe your creative work is contributing to tourism in Jamaica? Uh, so not only my work, but when you, when you see how social media has impacted the world, persons know when they, when they post and persons say, hey, they went to this river, they went to this place, persons are like, hmm, I want to find that. And that's, that's why um, the content creation space is so huge now. Mm -hmm. So when I post about these places, for example, the beaches in Portland, I know that there's going to be persons who want to visit. There's going to be persons who are abroad seeing my content and like, hmm, where is that? Comment and ask somebody, tell them or if I put it in the video. And of course, that attracts persons. So they might can't understand what I'm saying, <laughs> but they're seeing something that they're like, hmm, I want to I wanna see that for myself. So I know that it is definitely attracting persons to the parish. And you know, Poland is where tourism started, so, yeah. <laughs> so persons have actually come up to you and say, you know, say because of your video where I'm actually visiting? Yes, I, I oh, don't okay. remember. I think it was one of the rivers in Portland. Yeah, yeah, a lot of persons actually know that I think of it. Mm -hmm. I went to this river called Fishdon Falls in Portland, and I have friends in Kingston telling me that their co-workers are saying, hey, I see this video, and <laughs> I want to go here. When you, when you realize, it's me, <laughs> so, you know, yeah. that happens a lot. And, and you're talking about locals and internationals? Locals and internationals. I got a call the other day mm -hmm. from a cousin. Somebody was saying, hey, I saw this um, Airbnb that I, I spoke about, oh. and I would love to go there. And my cousin like, that's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's happening all over the world. Lovely. 
All right, so how you come up with these concepts though? You, you just see like a Miss Matty down the road and you go, where right, what is our one <laughs> differently from the Portland one? All right. So there's a, there's, there's a few things that I write on. If it's not culture, mm -hmm. it's experiences. Or I'm just making up a story. For example, with experiences, we just experienced a hurricane. And during that hurricane, I started writing the poem almost to completion. And the day after the morning after the hurricane, I went out and, and I did the video. And while saying it, I was just showing some oh. effects in the background. Um, that's huge as well. Um, for culture, as I said, growing up in Jamaica, you experience a lot of culture. So whether it's things that you experience as a child, things that you can remember from back then, are just, for example, our language is different from um, yeah. just the English. So things like that I can spin and, and create something. With such great and unique talent, what does Corey Rhymes hope to achieve from all this in the near future for himself and by extension for Jamaica? Wow, all right. You see this question now? I have to be honest, I don't know if I'll ever get there, but if I can get to even close to where Miss Lou was, I'll be happy. Because... You want to be the Mr. Lou? <laughs> for me, you know, Miss Lou is not only a national treasure, but she's known worldwide and she's mm. impacted. She's impacted people all over the world and she has traveled and shared her culture all over. So if I can if I can go close to that <laughs> as a quarry, you did well. <laughs> so that's that's that for me. Oh so that's a personal goal. That's so my personal goal. For Jamaica, what would you like to achieve from this globally? For Jamaica now, um I would love for persons to be more I know a lot of persons already know how, how Jamaica is, you know. But you see when it comes down to the language I hope maybe they can understand it a little bit more because I believe that our language is unique. It's very expressive. It's very creative as well. So if, I, if through what I'm doing, persons get interested and, and start, you know, picking up on a few words and learning the language, I'm, I'm good with that. I, I, I wanted to impact Jamaica in that way. And I know eventually that will attract tourists to our country and, you know, that, that builds the economy. So on social media, it's Corey Rhymes on all social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and it's Corey with a K-H-O-R-I-I, -I, and Rhymes with a Z at the end. English people will say, that's mine, but in a potter, we say a fimi. English will say, give that to me. We just sum it up and say, gimme. The Jamaican dialect is so amusing. Some words look like how them sound. Like if me say we meet a man, you know that one that big around. English say, get away from here. But in a potter, we say, go.